package. Where to today? Well, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's, or uh, well, the last episode. It was combined two days. Uh, sorry, it's a bit late getting out because uh, after riding for five hours and then getting in and then, you know, to do another four or five hours editing, it sometimes gets hard to fit everything in. So today we're leaving West Memphis and we're making our way to the Ozarks, through the Ozarks. So we're going to end up in a place called Jasper. Now, t today and the next two days are huge rides because we're really trying to now fit in the Ozarks, which wasn't in our usual, our original plans. But we also need, over the next uh, two or three days, we need to make up miles and get over back into Colorado and pick up the Million Dollar Highway and some areas there that we missed in July. So there's some big days coming up. I'm not sure I'm going to film so much uh, after, to, like, to, well, I'll show you the Ozarks, but then those two days, it's just really riding through nothing to get over there. So um, there'll be a bit of, I'll have some time to catch up anyway. So we're just now packing up. It's, it's like in the, it's going to be in the mid 30s, another sticky day. It's quite, it's overcast now, but it's already humid. I haven't worn a jacket for weeks. It's been great. All right, yeah, then. <clears throat> We've got to find coffee, which is uh, over here. This looks almost impossible. Uh, okay, we're just going to fuel up and we're going to get on our way. We've probably got six hours today, I'd say. So let's see what's in store. It's cloudy, but it's muggy. No rain, it's going to be mid 30s. So let's get going, eight o'clock in the morning. We wanted to leave at seven, but shit doesn't happen all the time the way you want it, does it? of the Ozarks. It's quite a nice ride. It's been hazy and uh, my eyes are just watering something fierce. I don't know what it is but that water's been streaming out of them. I need to get some neurofin for my back. <laughs> I'm looking in the walls aren't I? It's got to get off now. It's frozen a bit. Ugh. So one thing I've noticed on the way down, the amount of derelict homes, well I thought they were derelict but people are actually living in them, not that I'm casting aspersions on that but old homes and right we're looking for coffee in Mount, Mountain Home, we thought this place looks pretty cool, it's a Sunday and they've got like a sermon going Simon on. Simon replied, yes Lord, you know I love you, yes, Jesus Lord. said to him, Take care of the sheep. Okay. So on this wall is all dollars that people have signed and put up there. That's fabulous. So the the hunters are all here. If you don't want to go to church and you want to have go to a, a feed, you come to this place and they they broadcast the church, church sermon while you eat. So you kill two birds with the one stone. That's religion doing its little thing. That's Damien, that's 20% effort for 80% return. Damien hasn't found a coffee, but where's our shrimp? And what sort of, what is this? Bread. It's like French toast. Shrimp, mm, chocolate, we're just sharing it. We just met Tina here and Bill. Bo Bob, Bill, Bob. Bob. Jesus. Bob and Tina. Bob and Tina. It's, a, it's his sunlight, it's confusing with yeah. my brain. Yeah. Come on, just say hello. 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 Come in here. Come What's here, going on, sweetheart? Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet. Locked in This is the town of um, Mountain View or Mountain Home in Arkansas. 
we're now just about to start uh, the, the, uh, the Ozark ride. Now the ride we're doing is called the Jasper Disaster and uh, it's quite a technical ride. Uh, we'll probably get half of it done today that takes us to Jasper and the other half maybe tomorrow I think. Now the Ozark is uh, Route 66 owes much of its prominence because of the Ozarks and also Wild Bill Hickok uh, did a lot of his original early days here in the Ozarks so it has a little bit of historical significance. The Ozarks is full of these little waterways so we'll no doubt pass them. So here is uh, a beautiful ride which apparently is one of the best motorcycle rides in all of this area. Sounds worrying, I know. So we're here at Harrison, which is half an hour from Jasper, where we start the, the Jasper disaster ride. We have another disaster on our hand, and that is that my, my front tire is almost bald. No good? I don't think so, no. Oh, so we might need a back tire as well. <laughs> we're hoping to make Vegas before tires. So we have a bit of an issue we have to sort out. Now tomorrow is a public holiday. This place ain't do me any good I'm in the wrong town I should be in Hollywood Just for a second there Thought I saw something move Gonna take dancing lessons Do the jitterbug rag Ain't no shortcut I'm gonna dress in drag Only a fool in here Think he's got anything to prove Yes, hello. Uh, we've just arrived to check in and I'm... He's on her way, the lady. I wonder how it got its name, Buffalo River. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. Thing that needs a bit, it's a bit dodgy, but the rooms are nice. Bathrooms as we saw it, but the rooms are nice. This is, uh, um... This is Jasper. What a cool little place. Jasper Pizza, Crystal Cottage. We're just looking for a beer and a wine, and then somewhere to have dinner. It's quite cute. So we've done half the Jasper Road of Destruction, and uh, we're gonna do the rest of it tomorrow, and also the pigtails. Funky frog. Oh, hello, fella. Hello. Enjoyed the show. <laughs> I, I survived. With all the records. Well, we've come into the Ozark Cafe. This is a dry county, which means we can't get a drink anywhere. But it's only 4.30 or something, so tonight where there's a pizza place up there, we'll go and have pizza. And I've got some of that moonshine that Rick gave us back in... Um, Waynesville. So we might have some moonshine tonight in the hotel with some pizza. Good morning everybody, we're here in Jasper. We have some challenges today before we can continue with the Jasper Road of Destruction and the pig trails as we make our way to Tulsa. We keep going west. I need a new front tire. I'm prepared to give it a crack. Today's a bit of a like a public holiday here so we're ringing around to see what we can find. I don't want to spend another night in Jasper. It's a cute town this hotel had no TV, couldn't believe it. Not that that's a be all and end all, but it's probably, we vote this the second worst hotel. But the beds were nice. So, um, new tyre for Calamity Jane is what we're after. It's another beautiful day, it'll be in the mid 30s, another hot one. Cruise in the Ozarks. So that's cruiseintheozarks.com. That's got some great information in there. Lots of maps and things. I've saturated my vest. Might as well be cut cool from the get-go. Okay, we're taking the punt and going. There's nothing open today. So we're going to do the rest of the destruction, Jasper Road of Destruction, 
I'm just gonna have to take it easy. Anyway, here it is. Of course, so the trouble when you know that you, you've got a bald tire, every little difference in the steering, you go, oh my God, what's that mean? What's that mean? So I'm fucking totally paranoid now about this particular ride today. Got the water under the bridge, a lot of other stuff too. But don't get up, gentlemen. I'm so nervous. I, I feel that the you know the handlebars are wobbling going around corners, but I'm taking it a lot slower than normal, so that could be normal. I don't know. At least the road's in top condition, so I'm not going through lots of bumps and things. It looks like it's been recently paved. See, there's a bit of a tank wobble there. Shit. I'm only passing through. Well, it could be a whole bunch worse because it could be raining and I'd be slipping and sliding all over the place. So it's a fine day. There are houses dotted along here, so we're not far from help. We might not have any reception, but we're not far from a house, I don't think. We're an hour and a half from Fant Fantville. I've got to say, it's fantastic. Very crooked and steep, next two miles. here in Fateville and as fate would have it nothing is open as expected okay Damien's had a coffee it was ordinary I didn't bother filming it he said it could have been better and we know that means he should have asked for an extra shot so now we've made an executive decision we're going to plow on for about an hour 40 to the Hard Rock Cafe, Hotel, Casino and Resort in Tulsa. We're gonna do it and then tomorrow we'll get the tires, I'm sure. Everything's closed, so we're just gonna plow on. He's not happy at all about it, but we're just gotta do it. So let's go. The tires getting balder as I'm sitting here. Let's go to Tulsa. I'm gonna find out what that song was. I'm trying to get as far away from myself as I can. Right, we're entering Cherokee Nation and we're in Oklahoma now after leaving Arkansas. It's about an hour, an hour away from uh, Tulsa outskirts. If there's something too hot to touch, the human mind can only stand so much. You can win, boy, here with a losing hand. One of the flashiest places we have stayed. This is the Cherokee Tower and this is our room which seems to be quite nice indeed. Loads of bench space, look. Okay, I've got a bath. There's a pool here. We've just got to move the bikes and this room was came to a total of about 140 US, so say $200 Australian. Anyway, we're in Tulsa, which is be much be better deal than last night's shit room with no TV. We have a TV. So we even get a little guitar-shaped chocolate. And on that note, this, this episode's finished because we're now in Tulsa. You've seen the Ozarks. It wasn't so much about the scenery with Ozarks because it was, it was about the road and the rides because it was very lush and dense. Can I get undressed now? You can get undressed now. <laughs> Show the people. Show the people your baby moon baby. Yeah, your blue moon baby. Right, that's it for this episode. We'll, and tomorrow, to be continued, Tulsa, getting some tires and on our way as far west as we can make it towards Colorado. 
Maybe Dodge City. We'll see. If people are crazy, it's time to strange. I'm locked in tight. I'm out of range. I used to care, but things had changed.